Hi there, everyone. Today, um, we are going to be in uh, Linux, and uh, it's going to be Ubuntu. Um, I have an older laptop that I've had laying around for, I don't know, uh, quite a long time now, and it had uh, the old Windows Vista on it. And I don't know about you guys, but um, Windows Vista was crap. Total crap. I didn't like it. Um, needless to say, I used this laptop for a while. And uh, when Windows 7 came out, I got me something else. And so this one was just laying around. And I figured that I would go ahead and put Linux on this one. Um, I do have Linux and stuff like that. I've been playing around with Linux for quite a while now um, in VirtualBox and stuff like that. But I figured I would go ahead and do a tutorial inside of Linux because I've been asked quite a few times about how to install plugins and how to install themes and stuff like that inside of uh, Linux. Now, like I said, this is uh, Ubuntu 14.04. Uh, um, so and the process should be pretty much the same um, on any Linux distribution. But here is GIMP inside of Linux, and the theme I got in here is the Photoshop CS6 theme. It's the theme that I really like. It's the theme I have on my GIMP on Windows. And so I'm going to go ahead and open up the browser, and I'm going to go ahead and download this uh, new CS6 2 theme for GIMP. Um, I'm not really a big fan of this theme, but we'll go ahead and download it anyways. And bear with me. Like I said, this is an older computer, and so it is a little bit slower. And plus, I am recording on this, so it should download, maybe. There it goes. And so we're going to go ahead and do the theme first. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here into my file browser. And I am going to go ahead and go into the downloads. And you'll see it right here. The new CS6 2 theme for GIMP. I'm just going to right click on it and click on extract here. And I do have uh, Roar installed in here so that's the reason why i'm able to right click and extract zip files and stuff like that and here's the readme text and there's a splash page and stuff we don't need any of that all we need is this theme file right here so i'm going to right click on this and i'm going to uh, copy this uh, theme right here and then we're going to click on our home directory and then you're going to um, Linux reminds me a lot of Mac in where their stuff is way up here in the top bar. Um, there is a tweak to change this and stuff, but uh, I'm not on this laptop too much, so I just leave it like this. So what we want to do go is to view, and then you want to click on show hidden files, or you could also do this uh, hotkey control H. And now you'll see that we have a lot more hidden files. And you will want to go to, uh, where's it at? Do, 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 do. GIMP, your dot, GIMP 2.8 folder, which is right here in your home directory. And you want to click on it. And then you will want to go to theme. And just go ahead and right click and paste your theme in there. And now we should be able to go to back over here to our GIMP. And uh, I'll probably need to close it out and fire it back up real quick and like I said you have to bear with me I will probably fast forward through some of this stuff if it takes a while to start up um, not too sure GIMP runs 500 billion times better on Linux <laughs> than it does on Windows and so alrighty so it's Fired back up, so now we'll want to go to Edit and then Preferences. And give it a second to pop up, and then we'll want to go to Theme. And there it is, the new CS6 2 theme for GIMP. We'll just click on it, and you'll see that in Linux, 
There is no closing and restarting for the theme to change. It changes automatically. And we'll just press OK. And there you will see. Let me just go ahead and move this to the way I like it. And there you will see that's how you um, go ahead and change themes inside of GIMP. Um, you could also go ahead and there is another way you change themes too. And uh, that is going to your computer and then going down to your USR, which is user. And then you want to go into your uh, share file. And then you could scroll down. And where is it at? There it is. GIMP 2.0. And here's your brushes and plugins and themes and stuff like that in here in your scripts uh you sorry your plugins ain't in here but your scripts are and your themes and stuff like that now you can install your themes in here uh, I, I installed the cs6 theme here but if i try to right click oh it will let me paste um, that's probably because uh i did the um you'll have to have the root uh whatever it's called uh to allow you to uh, go ahead and go into and install files into these right here um, because normally when you try to go into something and paste it in these files it won't let you it'll say that you're not a root admin or something like that and you have to pull up your um, your terminal and you will have to type in uh, I have a code let's see is it a document I have a code and this is just a little get around but you'll do uh, uh, sudo uh, chome dash r um, then your computer's name which mine is this computer then you'll want to do uh, backslash usr backslash share backslash themes or whatever folder you'll want to change these right here to whatever folder and then you'll just copy and paste this You'll just copy and you will go ahead and pull up my terminal and you'll just paste this right into your terminal and then hit enter and then it will give you uh, the root um, admin privileges to go ahead and paste folders and stuff into these files over here. So that is themes. And the next thing we are going to do, let me pull up my browser. The next thing we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and do plugins real quick. And I like all these plugins. I use all these plugins quite a bit. Uh, not all of them, but I use a lot of them. And the one that uh, I want to install is the, uh, what is this one? This is the scale layer to image size one. Um, this is a pretty handy one right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and download it real quick. And this one is downloading pretty quick. So I'm going to go ahead and just hop back into my files here and we'll go back to downloads and where's that scale layer. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on extract here and scale layer to image size and right here you will want the python file um so on linux they want you to have when you have python files they want you to have um make to make it executable and you will see some people let me go ahead and uh let's right click and we'll open this with uh sublime text 2 real quick and hopefully it opens up pretty quick and you'll see right up here you'll see this uh, exclamation point backslash usr bin slash env python and before you used to have to go ahead and delete this uh, to make it executable but we will leave the hashtag there 
just like that and uh, we'll go ahead and click off of this and what you want to do is we're going to go ahead and copy this file so we're going to copy and then we are going to go back to our home directory and then we'll go back to our GIMP 2.8 and we'll find plugins and we're going to uh, right click and then paste in here and then what you want to do is you want to right click and then go into the properties panel and then you will see where it says permissions and you want the access to be read and write uh, this computer and all this stuff you can leave alone but what you want to tick is you allow executing file as program and that's what you want to tick and we'll go ahead and close this now and this is scale layer to image size so uh, I'm gonna have to go ahead and close GIMP I should have closed GIMP first before I did this give it a second to close and then we will go ahead and open GIMP up again and it might take a few minutes because it's got this new filter to load up give it just a second so we'll just go to file new um, that's fine and I will go ahead and create a new layer and uh, we'll just drag out a little selection here. And I have my hotkey set up to fill with the foreground color. It's Alt and Backspace. Uh, and then Control Shift A to deselect. Actually, Control Z that. Let's do that. Select it. Let's go to Layer. And then Scale Layer. Let's see. Yeah, Scale Layer. Fit inside, fit outside, scale with, scale separately, each layer, blah, blah, blah. Let's just click OK. And let's see. Go back to files. Yes, yeah, scale layer to image size. Let's see here. Let's control shift A. Let's see if it worked. Uh, Let's just hit uh, Control A. All right, Control Shift A to deselect. Let's right click and alpha to selection. Of course, we're going to click that one. And so, all righty. So it should work. Um, and then we, we will do one more just so I can show you the process one more time. So we'll go ahead and we will come back over here and we will install. Let's see, place layer into selection. And let's download this one real quick. And then let's go back to my file browser. Let's go into downloads. And where is it at? There it is. Right click. Extract here. And place layer into selection. Double click on that. We'll want to right click and let's copy the Python file. And then let's go back into our home directory and then go back into GIMP 2.8. And then let's go back to our plugins. There it is. Right click, paste it in here, place layer into selection, and then let's right click and then go to properties and then go to permissions and then allow executing file as program. And then let's close. And then let's go ahead and open GIMP back up. And let's go ahead and close GIMP. Oops. Let's close all. Let's quit. So that filter is working um, and that is pretty much it. That is all you have to do. So if I go uh, back to my file browser, 
Um, like I said, you'll just want to install your um, plugins in your home directory. Um, like I said, it should be the same on any Linux, uh, not any Linux distribution, but pretty much the ones that are derivatives of Ubuntu um, will work this way. Um, but uh, making the Python files uh, an exec executable should be the same process, should be just right click and then go into your permissions or however you get to it. And there should be some kind of check mark that makes it an executable Python file, which allows it to run as a program. And I am a big fan of Python files. So, alrighty. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe for tons more tutorials and have a great day. Thank you.